Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majael with the Possessor on Insane. Alright, uh, I went ahead and turned in my potions, then I used them. I got the Elixir of Mastery from Elvala, the Elixir of Focus and Foundations from Last Hope, and then a Grimly. I went ahead and I already used them, but I haven't spent them yet. So, let's go through this and see where we want to put them. Uh, it's just 1% more on that, I remember... Uh, we're raising this for the weapon damage and the uh, the chance to make a, a body from it. So yeah, 9% weapon damage. It's not bad. It's his mind, though. So really, you could probably cut that in half. Maybe maybe less. On average, anyway. Probably not over the whole... Like, over the whole game. Probably even more, actually, because we're stacking uh, physical damage, not mind damage. Alright, let's go through these... No, this just gives us a little bit more raw mind power and not enough to matter. Mind power isn't hugely important to us. It is kind of, but not hugely. As long as it, you have at least a stack of sadists wherever you take damage, you use 17 Psy to harness your stacks of sadists to divide the damage by your stacks plus one. Each time this happens, a random foe in sight with 80% or less life will take backlash for blah, 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 blah. All right, I don't exactly know how much damage that's going to do or save but it sounds like a lot so at max we use 12 psi to harness your stacks of sadists to divide the damage by your stacks plus one so if we take a hundred damage and we have a stack of sadists which is likely which is i mean pretty much always going to happen especially for one-on-one -on -one, um it will divide that damage by two that seems like it's a little bit too powerful but let's go ahead and grab it because we don't have any other points to put anywhere. Do I need more dexterity? I think we're going to be good on accuracy. 35 plus 4 out of 5 combat accuracy should be enough. Let's go ahead and finish raising out cunning for some mind power and critical strike chance. Alright, we are looking for a... Or an elder vampire or just a regular vampire. You know, I guess we could probably steal... Um, Timeless as well. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and get in the... No, let's let's keep using the same one we have been. The, uh... Whatever this guy is. The overpowered multi-hued whatever. The worm. Oh, wow. That is getting laggy. Alright, what do we got here? Still nothing. Where's my soul purge? I must have gotten rid of it. Oh, no, that's right, because I switched. I need to not use that unless I actually have to. All right, what do we got? Mana Thrust for 165 damage. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's go ahead and silence him. Uh, wave and Wave of Power him. Wave of Power is pretty nice. I'm liking it. It's especially nice uh, when it... When I regenerate enough mind power to just always use it, and I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and use this. Do we need to silence him? Uh, probably not, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. He was a writhing one. Bindings of Eternal Night. I've said this many times, but I thought if you got the mummy wraps and the bindings of Eternal night and then the crown of eternal night that you you would unlock the uh <laughs> the mummy class but no that is not true at all all right we got temporal fugue up here so he's not nearly as dangerous as he seems let's wait until he goes back into one though before we silence him i'm gonna go ahead and use psionic block run up get out of the way of his temporal bolts those can hit hard if you run through them like an idiot and you keep getting hit by him over and over again. Rune Skull, that gives us spell power just for carrying it. It's been a while since I've seen that. I don't do the backup guardian that usually carries it. Ooh, death build. That might be our new weapon. We'll see. Okay. Uh, it's incredibly powerful for uh, Doombringer, but it's it's pretty good otherwise, too. All right. Damage when in a hit in melee, 25 damage, and spell po power plus 7. But it is when carried, so it's just free buffs. All right, death build, 70 to 112. So already it's going to be doing more than our Dream Malleus. 
In okay, on weapon hit, increases all damage dealt and reduces all damage taken by 1%, stacking up to 10 times. Resets after 10 turns without attacking. So, that's awesome. That that reset should be after, like, 3 or 4 turns max. Uh, life steal this weapon only, 5%. That Maybe that'll keep our scythe stop, uh, topped up. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but then we get strength, magic, and constitution. Yeah, we will probably use this. Because that uh, damage reduction and plus damage is just... It's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and dig through the wall. Yeah, I think I can. Alright, we got uh, poison strike or venomous strike. So, no. Petrified wood, not bad. We'll uh, mule it. I've already got two in the vault. It's for my monolith armor build. All right, we're going to get out of this guy. Yes, level 42 and a prodigy. All right, then what we're going to do is destroy that body. Or do I need to eat? Nope, I don't need to eat anyone with him. Okay, destroy the most damaged and then hop right back in after we use our points. We should probably, uh, I don't know. We need to get one point in each of these. So we go from 396 Psi to 441. Okay, so about 50 Psi per point there, which is good. All right, we really don't need to put a ton of points into this because it's not giving us the main thing that we want, which is the damage division. It's not upgrading that at all. And we're only getting two Psy reduction now, which is not great. All right, as long as you have at least a stack of Sadus, you can radiate agony to all those within four radius of you. That's where I want that. I might go another point for five radius. I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and add into Cunning. And let's check out our Prodigy. What can we use for a Prodigy? Windblade would be nice. Then I could uh, comfortably get rid of the Dream Malleus. But I think what we want to do is Superpower. This Prodigy grants a Mind Power bonus equal to 60% of your strength. But we've already got I Can Carry the World, so it's even more of a Mind Power bonus. But the main thing is, additionally, you treat all weapons as having an additional 40% Willpower modifier. It's just kind of cookie cutter is the only reason I don't really want to take it. And, like, Windblade is super convenient. Like, it lets you surge through the end of the game. Well, at least until you get to high peak. You know what? Let's just go ahead and grab Superpower. I think that was our plan from the beginning anyway. All right, let's check out our damage with our main guy. We've got 227 damage. 227 damage, 227 and 56. 227 and 56. 227, 56. 227, 56. 227, so we get 23 character sheet damage and 12 uh, mind star damage. That's, that's pretty good. Oh shit, I didn't check how much mind power we got. Well, we're at 98 mind power. That's pretty insane. And I'm not even in a body. Let's, uh,. Get back in the body and see what we get for mind power bonus. Not a lot, but we get 8% more crit chance. Man, this is these are some amazing stats. 307 weapon damage. The only time I've ever gotten that high is with the Blighted Maul or the exotic weapon plus the, uh, the, the Prodigy weapon you get for exotic weapon mastery from Slasul. No, no. Cinder Roar. Oh, wow. 45 mind power. No. Ours has got mind penetration. But, you know what? I'm going to take that. Might be good for a different build. Okay, we got 25%. Oh, nope. That's light penetration, not mind. So we won't be switching. I thought it was mind penetration and mind damage. I'll take this too. It's got a bunch of mind power. I'm going to mule it. I want to get a caster Wormick going. And I have gotten them pretty far before, but I just... I didn't get lucky with uh, drops, so he just... They are very reliant on equipment for their damage mitigation. Wormix are. So you just get extremely blown up if you didn't if you didn't find good stuff. Whoops. Switch back to our other set. 
All right, we've got a, okay. He is a monk, but he's a very close, or very low level monk. 310 damage lightning for Morgor. And I'm not finding any master vampires here. Maybe I was, maybe I'm misremembering where we find them. All right, we got Wretch. When you stand in your own wretch, your racial 20% global speed is canceled. Okay, so it doesn't just give you 20% global speed. Let's get rid of it and kill this guy. Um, I did use my category point on another inscription and I got uh, Rune of Shatter Inflictions. Cause that's what I wanted. It's just good to have multiple debuff clears. Let's get around the corner while the Enora Phil takes a sweet time and blow him up. And we got nothing. Awesome. All right. We shielded, silenced, and blow him up. What do we get? Twilight? Or no, Shadow Blast. We don't need that. Let's uh, dispel. And then we're going to silence. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to go through this uh, void monolith. I don't like to, but because they're usually pretty tanky. Usually, I say. I went ahead and uh, used my... Is he unstoppable? No. Why can't I kill him? I went ahead and used my unstoppable because... Uh, or, uh, unleashed mind because we had already killed the guy that could give us a decent... Holy cow, 9,000 hit points. And he is a Saw Butcher. Uh, Saw Butcher, there, he's got some good passive damage reduction, but I won't be able to use his abilities. I'm taking this body. All right, so... Oh, he's an alchemist. <laughs> He's an alchemist slash uh, saw butcher. Oh, and that means he won't have uh, weapon mastery. Damn. Screw it. He's got 9,000 hit points, so cannibalize. What is it? Does it go off of... Okay. He'll make a good cannibal cannibalizing body. Let's get rid of the uh, frost on our feet. Silence him so he has to come to us. Wing buff it. Oh, wow, our silence is actually... No, it did hit him. Okay, he's using something that I don't know, so... Ooh, we got... Oh, no, that's knockback. I thought it was dissolve. Dissolve is like flurry, except there's four hits instead of three. And... Our shield up to 1483. Um, and it does acid damage, so... The acid damage isn't a good thing, but... It's better than nothing. Wonder if we can actually use this without having a golem. Nope, we can't. I could have swore there were elder vampires in here. And master vampires. Could just be misremembering though. Champion's will. Uh, that's another build that I need to use. Let's go ahead and mule it. This guy is a good mule because I've got 967 uh, carry weight. Lots of critical multiplier on that one. All right, we got 10% physical penetration and 13% physical damage and 18% mind damage. So this is better than my other one damage-wise. Like, it's not even close. However, reduced damage from attackers more than three tiles away, 25%. Is it worth that? I think... You know what? I think it is. I do like Amethyst of the Sanctuary, though. We'll keep it, just in case. If I start taking too much damage, I'll switch back. Oh, look at this. Skullcracker, 1,264 damage. That is a lot. But what does it actually do? Nah, mine penetration and a very small amount of mine damage. All 
All right, what do we got here? 6,500 and a bone shield, so we will take this guy. Bone shield is obviously very good because it blocks damage and we can't heal, so basically acts like a little temporary shield for us. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and uh, possess him now. I think we should be okay. Or not. He is not going down very quickly. We've got five turns, and we got him. Jaguar's Teeth. That must be another um, a mod item. On weapon hit. 15% chance to apply Spiritic Poison. That's good. Pins the enemy and dealing 304 nature damage over three turns. On weapon crit. Wound the target, dealing 355 physical damage across three turns and reduces healing by 50%. On weapon kill. Fully reload. Damage range 105 physical. Wow, that's really good. The only problem with it is it's got kind of lowish uh, for a tier five lowish base damage. I mean, I mean it's medium high instead of really high. Let me go to my offset. Oh, wraith form. That's a decent one. Another wraith form. Youch. Go ahead and turn on our psionic block. Maybe avoid some of these hits. Got some wretch. All right, we're gonna shattering afflictions rune and run around the corner. I don't know what was firing at me. I think it was just that uh, uh, saw butcher, but I couldn't be sure. All right, ooh, combo kick. If we could actually use this, this would be nice. So I guess maybe if we had a, uh, a frick, a, um, a brawler's body, but no. Uh, unleash a flurry of disruptive kicks at your target's vulnerable areas. For each combo point, you attack for 10% weapon damage. That's not very much. And deactivate one physical sustain. At talent level 3, it uh, gets rid of a magical sustain. And at talent level 5, mental sustains will be... Um, removed. Very good, very good ability. The heck? Oh, it was his uh, Unseen Guardian. This is, again, it's a Wisp. He is a special class. Did I download it? There is the exit, so where's the Mummy Lord? Or the Greater Mummy Lord? Got a Mind Slayer here. I wonder if we can steal uh, Beyond the Flesh. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, this is not bad, but it was their light, the Mind Slayer's Lightning Strike. But we don't need that. Alright. Let me kill this guy real quick. Come on. Did we kill him? Okay, we did. Then I'm going to unleash mine to kill his two pets. Because I don't want to sit there and just take damage from him. Go back to our offset. Got more gore. So pain looking for this uh, beyond the flesh. Telos's staff, or Telos crystal staff. Or no, it's his staff crystal. All right, let's uh, run up here, silence him so he doesn't do anything stupid, and then punch him. Even though vault walls block track, you can still track through vault doors. We lower in vaults are indeed dangerous. All right, Greater Mummy Lord, are we taking him? Or no, this is the ancient elven mummy. I don't know if this is actually the one that we want, but let's go ahead and take him anyway. Who do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of... Actually, let's cannibalize first. Let's cannibalize this guy. Or no, let's just take uh, the Grand Corruptor. And then we'll get rid of its body. Uh, what I did was dispel. 
Now we're going to silence then blow him up. We're at low health. What did he do that actually hurt me though? Nothing too bad. We just must have been already low health. Cyanic block. Let's go ahead and bleeding edge him. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Well, whatever. We need to get out of here though. He's just hurt. He's hurting me too much. And at a thousand life, I probably could be shot. One shot, one rounded. All right, wait for the warning to go away and then run. What I should have done is just run and then uh, save my movement infusion in case he teleported in front of me or something. All right, we're arrested. What we want to do is get rid of this almost dead body. Then get right back into him. All right. Got rid of his... Well, shit, we got rid of some of his sustains. Agric Wrath, Cyanic Block, Silence. Is he silenced? Yes, for 10 turns, too, so we should be okay. And I didn't even possess him. Whatever, he was a caster body, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, Greater Mummy Lord. This is the dude we want, I think. But... He looks like he's a caster as well, but he's also a bulwark, so it's probably, I mean, we could probably take him and then just pick the ones we want. Silence him. Is he silenced? Yes. I really don't like these mini lags. It's making me think I'm dead. Yeah, he's got greater weapon focus. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. I guess I really should switch so I can actually hit him from far away. Possess. All right, we're going to speed past him. Get rid of Premonition. Smash. Wave of Power. Augric Wrath again. Psionic Block again. All right, we got Winter Tide and Summer Tide. <laughs> That's funny. Winter Tide and Summer Tide file, file off the same thing. Winter Tide's probably better for the most part. Uh, we got a greater mummy, but no. Automated cloak tessel tessellation, I like that, but I'm not exactly sure if it's very useful for non-steam power classes. I did use it on my flat damage reduction um, adventurer, but like I said, I haven't gotten very far with that build yet. No damage is the problem because my points are everywhere because I'm trying to get paradox and spell power plus uh, dexterity, strength, and cunning for brawlers, and then obviously steam power for cloak tessellation. I have no doubt that it will be good endgame. I just haven't gotten there yet. Switch back to our offset, and then soul purge. guy is only a rare, so I'm not going to take his body. I wonder if Morgor has to land the last actual hit to steal the ability. I wonder. I'm just curious why sometimes it doesn't steal and sometimes it does. I guess what I could do is take off my Mind Star and see if that matters. Let's do that. Oh, nope, I'm in a body, so I can't do that. All right, Terrarolin. 50% stun and immune, uh, freeze immunity. 8 life regeneration, 40 vim, light radius, nice. Spell power on crits, mana when firing crits, and 35% arcane damage. That is a mule item, definitely. Staff of arcane supremacy is not bad, but we obviously don't need it. Oh, Wintertide. I thought... 
I was thinking of the Wintertide vial. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever seen this. It might be a, might be, might have been added with the uh, Martyr class. The Martyr class is pretty cool. It's kind of like the Captain from Lord of the Rings online. Create a winter storm that gradually expands, dealing 167 cold damage based on your strength to your enemies each turn and slowing their ability to act by 20%. Subsequent melee strikes will relocate the storm on top of your target and increase its duration, so you're just always doing extra damage. This plus uh, Icy Kill will give you pretty much 100% Ice Block Penetration. Flash Torrent, not bad, but not great. Summer Tide. So I should put this on, yeah. So I stop myself from actually hitting with my Mind Star. Crown of Eternal Night. We don't have the bindings of Eternal Night, do we? No. I would have put them both on if I had if I um, had saved the other one just to see what they do. Critical multiplier, but that's really about it. Decent amount of stamina each turn, but... This gives us the same amount of mind penetration. Gives us a lot more physical power and accuracy. So what does this one give us? We're trading 11% critical multiplier for 35 or 30 physical power and 35 accuracy and some armor penetration. Yeah, this is, I think, better. I will eventually remember that you can't equip items while you're in your body. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get in here. Maybe we'll get some strong bodies. I don't know if there's a level cap on the graves in here. So we might find some good elites. <laughs> All right, Summertide, put you on, get out of my body first and level up. What are we doing here? Four, four, six. Goes up to 490. So we got 44 points off of it. And hopefully that doesn't screw us too much when we get into a low life body. It's, oh man. Let's see. We can take points out of it. So let's see. Do I have a low life body? Now let's put on all our stuff first. goes in our main one. This goes in our offhand. Uh, this is the one we want to put on for accuracy and physical power. We do lose critical multiplier, which does suck, but I think physical po the physical power will make up for it. It's, it's only seven effective physical power, but that's, that's quite a bit. Um, let's switch our whatchamacallit over to the death build our dream malleus I think we're good I do like this is still better for crowds obviously and there's going to be a ton of crowds but what was I doing leveling up three points into cunning we're just going to max out cunning we probably could put some into constitution for thick skin that would probably be the best um, way to spend our points but I'm not going to not yet anyway all right, we are, let's look at this. Projection, activate to project your mind from the body for six, nine, 12, 14, and 16 turns. In this state, you're invisible. Uh, can see invisible and stealth creatures can move through walls and you do not need air to survive. All damage you suffer is shared with your physical body and while in this form, you may only deal damage to ghosts or through an active mind link, mind damage only in the second case. Let's say mind link, I think it's this one, okay, yeah. To turn to your body, simply release the control of the projection. So. Turns you into ghost, you can walk around, but your main body is still there and it still can get hit, so it's dangerous to use unless you're 100% sure nothing's going to run by or teleport by. All right, mind link. Link minds with the target. While your minds are linked, you'll inflict uh, up to 38% more mind damage to the target and gain telepathy for its creature type. Uh, only one mind link can be maintained at a time. How long is it for? 
and the effect will break if the target dies or goes beyond range 14. The mind damage bonus will scale with, scale with your mind power. Okay, uh, that might actually be worth taking. It does take a turn, um, and I don't like that for just the damage bonus, so I have to hit it. Yeah, think about this. I'd have to hit it three separate times with a mind damaging target just to make up the damage for it, unless I'm in projection. But whatever. I think that's where we're going to go with it. I think that's what we're going to take. Um, yeah, we're good there. Let's go ahead and get into a body that is hurt. Do we have any bodies that are hurt? Okay, you. Our global speed went down to what? Huh, doesn't seem to have gone down at all. Oh no, that's because I need to be out of Psy. It's not health, it's Psy. Keep using all your abilities, please. Down to... Um... Okay, we just lost it, but we, we're not in the negative yet. Just trying to see how detrimental this can possibly be. Alright, so, oh my god. It can be up to negative 30%. Jesus. That's not good. And our size, it's dwarfed by our actual hit points too, so our size is probably going to be pretty low most of the time. Without that, does our... Without clarity, we only have lost 95%, down 5%. With clarity, huh, I'm, maybe clarity doesn't actually matter for the global speed malice. Why are we healing? I don't know why I'm healing so much Psy. Whatever, let's get in a body because I know then it won't. Sorry about this, I just I have to know before I take the point in it. So we're still losing stuff. We're still losing global speed even as even without clarity, so we should max this. I could have swore it was tied specifically to that ability, but I guess not. I I don't know what solipsism threshold is, so if anybody wants to tell me. Alright, it says uh learning this talent also increases your solipsism threshold by ten percent. Uh, same with all of these. Each one gives you a 10% increase to solipsism, so please tell me what that means. Hold on, let me see. We got 20, 20, 37, 3. 20, 20, 37, 3. So no, that doesn't do anything. Okay.
Oh, okay. That's why. The first talent point also increases your solipsism threshold by 20%, reducing your global speed by 1% for each percentage of your current psi uh, that falls below this threshold. So each point in these things, it our global speed will start to fall once it reaches that threshold. So basically, right without this, 30% is when our global speed starts to fall. So obviously it makes it a max amount that can it, it can fall but uh this takes it up to 40 percent instead of 30 percent so it's not a huge a huge deal we're still going to be in trouble if we're running out of psi basically let's open these what do we got here? Nothing. He is a an alchemist. Let's at least get our other thing on so we can take this stuff. What is this? Golem portal? No, thank you. Okay, we do. This is a vampire, but I don't think it's the kind we need. But obviously, we're gonna kill it anyway. We gotta break through his psi. No, no, we don't. Hmm. Why do you not have Psy? You, oh, he's he's a Psy shot. He still should have Psy though. Oh well. Metal Star? No, we don't want that. Or Blood Star, whatever it's called. Holy shit! We got an Ancient Lich here. So um, what I'm gonna do is shoot. And there's two vampires, two, three vampires. Master Vampire. All right. So what we're gonna do is, I need to use this to make sure I kill them. And then I will switch back to my offset. I didn't want to play around with that uh, that ancient lich. We got impending doom, but that's not something we want. Damn. All right, we got the wheel of fate and the black ring. <laughs> They're both black rings. That's funny. All right, let's get out of this body. Destroy it. Or no, we can cannibalize it. Let's get in this one for one last hurrah with him. Let's cannibalize just to get him topped off by this dude, right? Yes. Turn everything on. All right, nothing there. All right, we got some kind of solipsist here. Ooh, we got another dream hammer. That's it, talent level what? Three, so nope. Actually, I think they're all gonna be at talent level three because it's Morgor. I keep thinking it's, I keep uh, getting it confused with my possessor talents where they should be like seven or eight. Steam purge, no. Although I should have looked at how much damage it did. All right, heavy bone giant. Let's see how easy it is to take him out. Oh wow, pretty easy. Bone shield. This one's not bad if you get it early. Uh, creates a shield of bones absorbing 882 damage. Last 10 seconds. Or 10 turns. But it takes a turn to use. So. Let's get rid of that. Is this an elder vampire? It is. Let me actually see if he's got forgery of haze. Doesn't look like it. What's blood red moon? Oh, it's the... I think, hopefully they didn't actually change these guys into the new Necromancer, but it looks like they did. We might not be able to get Forgery of Haze anymore, which is unfortunate. But we'll just, we'll keep looking for something good to use. All right, we got Dire Plague. You unleash the glorious visions of the past when the con continent was filled with death and plagues. All foes within range of six. Catch a Dire Plague for five turns, dealing 57 darkness damage each turn. The Dire Plague is considered a disease, but it is not prevented by disease immunity. Every turn, there is a 5% chance of a piece of soul to be ripped away, increasing your soul by one. Nope. I don't even use that on, uh, <laughs> on my Necromancers, which I probably should. All right, first things first, dispel her. All right, we got everything. Well, pretty much everything. Then we need to get close enough to silence, but I also want to get close enough to hit. Um, she's not powerful enough to steal her body, so I'm not going to. 
For some reason, she got rid of my sustains. Or maybe I forgot to put them on. What did we steal? Invoke darkness. Ooh, 188 darkness damage. That's crazy. Where did you come from? Got a burning star. Burning star is okay if you have telepathy or uh, if you're using infravision, but otherwise I don't see the point. It's just annoying. Um, basically it just reveals the map surrounding. It doesn't re reveal the people. So it'll reveal a place. So then auto rest won't take you there or auto explore won't take you there. It's just annoying. But with Infravision, it's very, very, very good. Mummified Egg Sack of Ungol. We'll take it, so long as we have enough uh, light radius to keep it up. Oh, yeah, we've got 17 light radius. <laughs> That's good. Let's go get Reknor real quick, and then we'll, we'll call it here. <clears throat> Thank you for taking me right back out. Game's getting slower because we're getting closer to the end of it. I'm guessing uh, Possessor doesn't help either. Yep, Arcane Blade, play as a caster as long as you can. But eventually you do have to go melee, they just don't have good enough abilities to stay caster the entire time. I mean really that's the safer option for pretty much anyone. This guy's got about 7,000 hit points, but... Yeah. Ooh, stone gauntlets of Harkar Zoon. All right, let's get, uh, let's check out our equipment and then we'll get out of here. We've got physical resistance, penetration, and a tiny amount of damage, but no. Well, ours is too, too good. All right, that's where we're going to leave it for now. Next time we will, we'll, we'll do the backup guardians. I don't normally do them, but we'll at least go, go through them this time. Um, and then maybe we'll be able to take one or something. But uh, that's where we're going to leave it for now. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.